Hello student, today we are going to discuss about the NCRT example problem class 11 physics is the 10th chapter 9th problem we are going to discuss. It is asked about the coefficient of viscosity. Okay. First we will see what is the data is given. Okay. The mass of the object is given as 0 0.01 kg. Okay. 0 0.01 kg or 1 0 also. Okay. According to the book you can go. Okay. Uh, the next one. See here. Area. Okay. Area is given as a. Uh, in a question is 0 0.1 uh, millimeter squ meter square okay meter square area is given in a SI unit okay the next one velocity is given uh, 0 0.085 meter per second then thickness of the liquid is given okay thickness of the liquid is given as a 0 0.030 okay now the coefficient of viscosity is the question mark okay so, friction, viscous force is directly proportional to the area and velocity gradient, okay. If you are removing directly proportional, you will get as a coefficient of viscosity, area times of dv by dt, okay. Or you can directly write as a formula. This only is a question mark, coefficient of viscosity. So, force divided by area into change in velocity by uh, length, okay, not time, velocity gradient it is, velocity gradient, okay, velocity gradient. Velocity gradient meaning changing velocity with respect to the length, okay. So, force per unit area, stress we can call, okay, so coefficient of viscosity if you want, the numerator will be force per unit area, denominator will be changing velocity with respect to the length, okay. Now, uh, this is uh, stress, okay, it is called velocity gradient, okay. Now, force is how much, no, mass into gravity, mass is how much, 0 0.01, okay, gravity is 9.8 or 10, you can take it, 9.8. Denominator area is going to be 0. Point, uh, already is given as the area 0. Point, uh, 1. Okay, everything you should follow is in a SI unit. Uh, so velocity is going to be 0. Point 0. Uh, 085 and the length thickness is given 0. Point 0. Uh, 0. Point 0.3. Okay, 0. Point 0.3. Okay, denominator denominator directly will go into the numerator okay see here now what's going to happen 9.8 or 10 also if you want you can take it 9.8 into 0 0.01 i'll get us uh, uh this multiplication okay so here one decimal here one decimal you can move okay first we'll modify the equation uh 0 0.01 into 9.8 uh into 0 0.3 because denominator denominator directly numerator 0 0.1 into 0. 0, 8, 5. Okay, like this we can write. Now, I should remove the decimal. Okay, uh, any power value is there, you can write. Uh, 0 0.03 is given as a millimeter. Okay, uh, everything you should follow is in a SI unit. Okay, millimeter to meter 10 power uh, minus 3 you can include. Okay, so this will become 10 power minus 3 also will be there. 0 0.01 into 9.8 into 0 0.3 into 10 power minus 3 divided by 0 0.1 into 0 0.085. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4 decimal denominator. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4 decimal numerator. So, you can make it as a round number. See here, 4 decimal numerator and denominator directly you can multiple. 10,000 as a numerator, 10,000 as a denominator. Okay, you can get the round number. Okay, now we'll get 98. This is one only, no need to write. 98 into 3 divided by, uh, this is one, no. Uh, just one only will become into 85. Okay, this is approximately 1 point something. Okay, so 1.2 something will get. Okay, into 10 power uh, minus 3 is in a numerator. Okay. So, this multiplication, uh, so approximately will become as a 3 point, uh, it's going to be 4, 5 into 10 power minus 3 pascals, okay, including calculation you should learn, then only the problem will become easy, okay, we found what is the coefficient of viscosity, okay, coefficient of viscosity unit is going to be pascals second, okay, thank you.